Early Wednesday morning, family and friends of the late Nicholas Bett gathered at Eldoret Hospital's MOG to pay their respects to the departed former world champion Nicholas Bett. The men of the family went in first, then the ladies of the family followed, and after a brief intimate session with their departed loved one, his colleagues from the Kenya police assisted them to carry his casket to the house. The late bet was then fitted in a procession around Eldoret town led by his colleague athletes. Touchingly at the front were those who were last with him at the All African Games in Asaba, Nigeria. Some of the athletes donned black attires to illustrate the mode of the day. Residents of Eldoret Town were not shy to join in the procession with some singing Christian hymns to celebrate the late athlete. <laughs> the final destination for the procession was Beth's family home in Simat, was in Gishu County. Here, final touches are being put in place for the funeral ceremony of the celebrated yet departed athlete. We want to say to the family of Bet, uh, they've lost uh, 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 somebody. I want to say that uh, as a country, we've lost an athlete, uh, as a family, they've lost a son who has been uh, somebody they've been looking up to, and uh, the wife, the children of Bet, but as the family of athletics. And, uh, and the whole Kenya, we want to say, spoiler. The final race for the late champion commences tomorrow at about 10 a.m. The former world 400 meters hurdles champion is survived by a wife and two children. Lois Ongoi, NTV Sports, Eldoret.